right, it is day number five. Five of our of our road trip. We are right at the Texas uh, New Mexico border. In fact, I'm not even sure what side we're on. <laughs> this is uh, Glen Rio, which is like an abandoned. It's supposed to be a ghost town, but there's really only two buildings, so yeah. I don't know if that counts as a ghost town. Maybe just a ghost, like two ghost houses. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this place is trashed. Where are you? Just a little, little stop off here. Do you want to, John? John needed to do some urban exploration. We've been, I've been hogging the whole trip, so we need to. It's time for some abandonment. Time for some abandonment. All right, let's let's go dig around in the filth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm more worried about. The zombies or the cows with guns? Stumbled upon this bizarre uh, animal skin. I'm not sure what it is. The colors are kind of odd. It's got, uh, got a, a, like brown and black. What is that? Kind of gross in here. I just came very, very close to stepping in a big pile of human poop. Ew. Do you think human poop's the worst kind of poop? I think all poop's the worst kind of poop. <laughs> well, some poop's okay. Like rabbit poop ain't that bad. No, horse poop ain't that bad. It's just like hay balls. Horse. Well, it's got so much hay in it, like it doesn't stink yeah, as bad. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not really that bad. Yeah, I think I'd rather step in a big pile of horse poop. Yeah. All these uh, green. Branches here are Christmas tree branches. It's not some sort of native plant. It's just a fake Christmas tree. Find it a little bit of a disturbing trend. You see this a lot where people put like their Instagram handles or YouTube channels on graffiti. I shouldn't be giving this guy a uh, uh, free advertisement. These almost look like little pineapples. I, I doubt they are some sort of desert plant. It is super cold out here. I am freezing. Why does the desert get so cold? Yeah, and I guess while you're searching for YouTubers and, and Instagram people that, that vandalize buildings, make sure to check out Spooky Bed, AKA Toe Dirt. Good old Toe Dirt. Land of enchantment. A little pit stop here at Klein's Corner. Not only do we have a fine collection of steer horns, but look at that. Soltar. How's it going, buddy? Soltar's always cool, but I've never seen this one. The Medicine Man. You come to Medicine Man for healing? Then remember, the answer lies in self. Find peace in self, and you will find peace with others. The medicine man speaks. Rosebud. Now the electric coolers actually seem to be working. This stuff's pretty cold. Uh, it only course it only works when the car's running, but it was only four, 34 degrees last night, so it kept it pretty cool. And uh, so it seems to be working. I'm really excited. This is, is really helpful on, on this road trip and future road trips. I think I'll have some uh, roast beef for lunch, eating just the meat with no bread or anything. We have landed in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I decided to stop off at the Rattlesnake Museum. I, I plan on learning the great history of rattlesnakes, and I don't know, is it, isn't it a, a museum full of animals, a zoo? I don't know, it's a museum, check it out. Oh wow, look at this, Disneyland has actually conceded that the Rattlesnake Museum is a happier place. 
All right, let's head in. Oh my gosh, that is a rattlesnake. So, like I said, um, when I visited Alton, Illinois, I went to the Curiosity Museum. They have a wheel of death that tells you how you will die, and it said I will die from a rattlesnake bite. So, I guess, if you're gonna die somewhere, it might as well be a rattlesnake museum. Become part of Rattlesnake Museum history. Please add yourself to our guest, a rattlesnake lurking around a pump right there. Did I mention they're terrifying? Look at his rattle. This black-tailed rattlesnake's pretty cute. Hey, little one. Okay, they are. They're all kind of cute. You wouldn't kill me, would you? Here's a bunch of uh, plants that are named after snakes. This is the snake gourd. This is interesting. They have a collection of reptile-based postcards and postmarks. See the snake postmark there. Oh, that's cool. It's a platypus skeleton. They look just as weird with their skin on. Here's rattlesnake cochina dolls. Okay, so apparently this guy, uh, Craig Ferguson, is the host of The Late Late Show, and he had this mug. This is actually his mug that sat on his desk. It's a rattlesnake-themed mug that he used to drink out of during his show. I guess he had two different ones. Oh, these are wines made out of snake. I don't drink alcohol, and I... I don't really drink snakes either. And of course, how could you have a snake museum without an exhibit on snake oil? This is the uh, potions that hucksters would sell. Oops, <laughs> unwitting victims. Get some pretty cool labels there. You see the the coyote biting the snake. Ooh, there's some snake oil with an actual snake in it. And then there's McDonald's famous ointment. A lot of different little pieces of snake-related artwork down here. Oh, that's a giraffe skull, which is one of the most terrifying skulls of, of them all. Oh, it's a rattlesnake uh, gambling machine. And here's an ode to a man who loved rattlesnakes, Steve Irwin. It's an autographed picture. There's his wife's shirt. It's a beautiful corn snake right there. There's the SS rattlesnake. There's a little exhibit on bees. And we got old beekeeper Barbie there. Oh, you are very scary. You're a very scary monster. Oh, they all look so angry. These are all lizard-based beers and uh, sodas. I wouldn't like to step on you. It's a Hopi rattlesnake. He wants to crawl inside that shoe and then bite whoever puts that shoe on. Okay, I just realized there's a giant uh, tortoise walking on the floor. How are you doing there, buddy? The trees in Fiquens also hold colonies of masked weaver birds that suspend their nests. There, it's just giant turtles everywhere. When I was a kid, I really, really loved Gary Larson and Farside. He did a lot of snake-related comics, didn't he? And yes, there are wild rattlesnakes out here on the streets of Albuquerque. It's like someone has carved a Mother Mary into this tree trunk. Remember, here in Albuquerque, there is no poop fairy. Can you imagine what a poop fairy would be like? Hmm. Oh, looks like there's a cat up there on the roof. Here, kitty kitty. What you doing up there, silly? Yeah, look at this little chapel right here. Check out the candy lady. All right, this is the candy lady. It's a uh, candy shop that was featured in Breaking Bad. Of course, Breaking Bad was both, took place at Albuquerque and was filmed here. And they used a local candy shop to actually make the meth that uh, they used in the show, the famous blue meth. You can see there's the candy lady right there. She's got her Heisenberg hat on and her big bucket of meth. And luckily, they still sell the meth, the blue meth. You can buy it and, and eat it. John. What? Are you ready to do some meth? Let's do some meth. You usually don't see things like this at a candy shop. Distributor packs are tin. No flavoring. Just sweet sugar. <laughs> and you get three em em empty bags for distribution. 
Oh wow, that's um, <laughs> that's a good deal there. Well, looks like there's some Breaking Bad Fair. Pez dispensers. Yes. Yeah, there's Gus with his face blown off. Yeah, let me go ahead and just get the uh, the one little bag. Back here to the lab. All right. Let, let's cook, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here they are. Okay, there's ah. there's Walt and Jesse yeah. with a big big tray of meth. So we have to wear the the aprons. <laughs> All right, got this. Yeah, the meth the meth game's tough these days. Let's see what yeah, look at all that. Oh, look at all that meth. Imagine how much cash you could turn that into. Yeah, there you go. Get a full scoop. Get a full scoop. Put it up to your nose. Did your finger to the other side? All right, yes, I am I am diabetic, so I did get the smaller um, meth container. Try not to let the cops see us here, guys. We'll kind of turn our back. We're just doing it, you know, in, in broad daylight down the tourist strip here in, in Albuquerque. Watch the level of your voice. Oh, sorry. We don't know oh, anyone in the... Hey, we're not doing drugs over here, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Sell this. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, yeah, so I am diabetic, so just maybe a little bit of math. You know, rot your teeth, just like real sugar. Mm. That is sugary. That's the first, like, candy I've had in a month. Wow, that is really sweet. That is really sweet. I don't know if that's just, like, the sweetest thing I've ever tasted, or if it's uh, just because I haven't eaten any candy. But... 20? Here, let's put this white for a cop gun back. Maybe you should smoke the rest. <laughs> or shoot it up. <laughs> well, not snort it. Just take it and go. <laughs> no, I just, I'd like to public public announcement. Just do that. I, meth is bad for you. Yes, yes. Um, meth is very bad. Working in Child Protective Services, I saw some of the effects of meth. It's 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 not uh, it's not it's not great, but uh, you know. Right in here. all seriousness, it will destroy your life, and it's not worth it. And this is just candy, and we're just playing around having fun. Yes. Because of a fun TV show. It's an awesome TV show. So, so any of you he hasn't seen it. I haven't seen it. He ever, I'm gonna have to watch it now. You need to sit now down with your I wife. Know, you need to sit down with your wife and watch it. No, you'll, you'll love to it. Then where they film it and like okay. took some of the math, I'm <laughs> I'm ready to try it. So all right. So appreciate you guys joining us. Um, yeah, give me give me that. And uh, uh, this one's in the bag. Get this, <laughs> get this off. Get this off me. <laughs>